I could start with some kind of spiel, but you clicked into this video, you know what you're here for. Mega Man Dose. Okay, um... Gotta start with Air Man, right? So, like, uh, Mega Man, for Game Boy, Mega Man 2, for Game Boy, is... Loosely based on Mega Man 2 for NES. Well, I guess not. Loosely. That didn't happen. I guess it's a, it's a, as, about as faithful a conversion as you can have uh, from an NES game to a Game Boy. But it's, uh, you know, you'll see. Things are not as they appear. Can I slide? Oh, look, I got slide. Which already is, you know, if you know Mega Man 2, you'll be like, hey, that's not right. Oh. Okay, come on, drop a health, so I, when I tank the damage to get past you here, I'm at least at zero sum. Okay. Why are these games... Oh, and I gained less than I lost. Fantastic. You know, I've always been terrified that there's going to be a hole behind these clouds, and there never is. That didn't happen. I love being able to say that, you know. And I like the remix of the Airman theme. It's pretty good. Like, the instruments could be better, but I, I appreciate that there's uh, a little bit of a new melody. Oh my god, this is a mess. This is an absolute mess. And I'm going to take that at life. Hey, it's Kaminori Gabo, or whatever. It's Gabo! Wow, look, there's so little lag. I thought these guys made the screen flash like crazy. Maybe they, they're, they're fixed in this one. Oh, I need that health. Gimme. this way. Ah! You see, that's what I'm afraid of. Except that it's over a bottomless pit. Okay, Airman time. So if you watched my Let's Play of Mega Man 1 for Game Boy, you'll know that I thought it was easy, but then it turned out to be actually kind of hard. But I think this one is actually, like, way easier than one would expect. Ow. Airman is still tough. I can't beat Airman. Oh. Oops. Ooh. Lucky break. They did their best to recreate the song. It's not quite right. Ooh. Cross Jet Wicked. That's a great thing I gotta have from the start. Okay, Airman beats Crash Man. Or, sorry, Clash Man. Which is how I knew Crash Man for the first many years of my life, because uh, I didn't play an actual any. Well, I did play a lot of the NES Mega Man games on NES, but I never owned any. And Mega Man 2 is one that I didn't really... I don't think I ever rented it myself. I only played it at a friend's house, like, twice. 
Ooh, yes, please. Um, so I was never familiar with Mega Man 2 as a kid. I rented, like, I think... I think I probably rented Mega Man 5 the most, because I remember Charge Man very distinctly. Uh, 5 and 6, I think. I know I rented 3 and 4, but maybe not quite as often. Like, two times as opposed to three, to put that in perspective. But, um... Yeah, I didn't really know Mega Man 2. But I did have a friend who owned this Game Boy cartridge. So, I borrowed it from him on at least two occasions. And, yeah, that's why I know... Or, as a kid, I knew Crash Man as Clash Man. And, uh, yeah, that was kind of a roundabout way to get to the end of that story. But this is why this game is easier than the other one, is that we finally have energy tanks. Oh, and Rush Jet goes wherever you want it to! Ho oh, ho ho ho! Broken as hell. In the best way. I think it's overall just a much easier game, less uh, in the way of cheap level design and enemy placement. There's a lot of questionable stuff in the first game. Is it worth dropping down for that tiny amount of health? No. Do I want to do it anyway? Yeah. can't jump that high. Dang it, Mega Man. You never should have changed angle. You're only dead due to your own incompetence. See, now I have two full heals. So the rest of the game is going to be a cakewalk. Crash Man isn't quite as uh, susceptible to the air shooter as Crash Man is. Oh, I'm out. Yeah, I think it takes like three shots to, maybe even two, to kill Crash Man in Mega Man 2 NES. I know it's like painfully easy if you have the right weapon. This one, they buffed him a little bit. Flash Bomb! And Rush Coil. You don't even need Rush Coil. Like, Rush Jet, you can fly it in any direction you want, at any time. Why? Why, why would I use anything else? Maybe if I got Rush Coil first. That's about the only situation I can think of. Ow. Rude. That didn't happen. Also rude, by the way. I hate these parts in these games. These are so... unreasonable. Like, here, we're gonna put spikes in a place that you can't possibly assume they're gonna be. Well, I guess you could assume, but... You can't possibly know ahead of time. And if you're in the wrong way, it'll be hard to adjust. So, good luck. And enjoy being dead. Okay. Let's take a good long time to reset. This is not Castlevania. Oh good, we got these guys again. Remember these guys? Where I sat, tried and tried to grind some health, 
just could not. Well, alright. They seem to be less in volume. Or fewer in volume would be the correct verbiage there. Stupid gear! some health. Ow! Those med bullets move really slow. Which is a good thing. I shouldn't be complaining. But I'm surprised, it's all. Will I take an extra life? Yeah, I will. Better to have them and not need them. Okay, you clowns. Give it up. Clearly, you can't beat me. And honestly, I don't know if Metal Man even has a weakness. Uh, but he has a weakness. I don't know if he has a weakness that I can have at this point. Usually, I just beat him with a buster. Even, ow, oh, on NES. Okay, look, buddy. Your pattern is not consistent, but manageable. Gotcha. The Metal Man actually is weak to Metal Blade, as are, I think, half of the bosses in Mega Man 2 NES. I don't know if that carries over to this Game Boy version, but it won't probably matter. Rush Marine? Oh. But there hasn't been an underwater level. Why would we need Rush Marine? Certainly the forest isn't going to be flooded. I don't like those bunnies. They shoot you with carrots. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Alright, well, if you bats are just going to stay asleep, I will ignore you. I don't like when there's rooms without walls. You know, because it, it kind of looks like there's a place to go, but there really isn't. I know it's like, probably like a... Uh, there is water in the forest! Color me surprised! Um, I know it's probably like a limitation of Game Boy or whatever, but still, put a wall there. I don't know how I'm going to get... And then... <clears throat> I think if anything else hits me, I'm basically dead. This looks like a good room to be a checkpoint, though, so maybe I'll be safe. I'm really not too worried about dying now, though. Oh, and another big health. Wow, that's generous. Uh, Mega Man? Could you climb? Thank you. He wasn't moving up the ladder there for a second.
Ow. Stupid roosters, whatever they are. Roadrunners. God damn. Uh, and I, I actually don't know. Um, I think Woodman's weakness is atomic fire in NES, so I don't think he'll be weak to Metal Blade, but I'd be happy to be wrong. Oh, look at that! Bro doesn't stand a chance! <laughs> ah! uh, see, this game's kind of a walk in the park. After the first Mega Man, this is kind of a joke. You got Leaf Shield. And that's it. No bonus for this one. It was too easy. <laughs> Why the castle looks so small? Like it's the size of a regular house. Oh? A cutscene's happening. I'm gonna get ya. Oh, we fell for the old trapdoor. To another set of bosses. Which I am... Oh, oh, stages! Are they short stages? I can't remember. But this is like, um... Is this Magnet Man? No, this is Hard Man. A very unfortunately named Robot Master. Ow. Not the bees! Not the bees! Yeah, I don't really need that health. I'm fine. And these Hammer Joes, you could take them out pretty easily with the old hang out on the stairs trick. In a lot of cases, this is not one of them. I don't even care that I missed that life. I don't need it. And we got, what, a monkey? Yeah. You probably should have moved, monkey. Yeah, like that. Um, I would like to erase you from reality. He's a durable little fella. Ah, here we go. I'm just... Shoot him in the toes. Guaranteed victory every time. Oh. Oh, how considerate. You're gonna empty my weapon energy. Yeah, you might as well fill it back up for me. Alright, what, um... What would Hard Man be weak to? Crash Bomb? I hope so. Oh, it's probably Magnet Missile, but I don't have that yet. That didn't work. Uh, not great. Not great. Well, wood Shield does nothing. Air Shooter does nothing. Alright, I think I'm going to eat this one. I'll just try again.
Yeah, this is... We can just tank the damage and... Move on to an easy victory. The hard knuckles probably should hurt a little bit more. But I'm not complaining. Oh. Screen glitched out a little bit there. You got hard knuckle. Alright, who's next? Magnet Man? Magnet Man. Hilariously enough, his weapon is the best way to deal with these guys. Ugh. No! No! That's not what happened. Take that. Oh, these guys are th so much more threatening on uh, on NES. Yeah, they're not really even there, but even less of a problem here. Ow! Ooh, a free guy. Beautiful. And this isn't going to affect you, is it? Jerk. I don't think they really did Magnet Man's theme justice. It's kind of hard to tell what it is. I have no time for that garbage. Okay. Go away, Rush. Now come back here, where you can be useful. And that's why we like Mega Man. Because it gives you ways to deal with garbage. And we just uh, get a little bit of that back into the rush jet, and I saw a whole bunch of items here, which will be handy. Probably should make sure that this guy dies, though. Oh, nice! Uh, that's awesome. Actually, this might be even better. Yes, it was. Okay, Magnet Man is not weak to Hard Knuckle. I know that, because magnets work on Hard Man. Usually, I take out Magnet Man with the Buster, but I want to see if he's got a weakness here. It's not Air Shooter. It's not Wood Shield. Um, it's not really Crash Bomb. This is why I usually just defeat Magnet Man with a Buster, because he's easy. He has the exact same pattern that he does on NES, I believe. I haven't played that game in a while either, so I might be just making stuff up, but I do remember this being super easy. I don't even care if this brother has a weakness. Cause he did. His weakness was being 
too predictable. And my weakness is being out of coffee. You got Magnet Missile. Too late, but I'm glad I have it. Alright, so if Magnet Man was here and Hard Man was here, then this should be Top Man. Look at me! I'm like a I'm like a, some kind of genius. Oh! Look at that water! Uh Rush Marine. RM. I'm pretty sure it's not Rural Municipality, so Rush Marine will have to do. Stupid cat. Be dead. Um, we'll just... Fill that up a little bit. Yes, I will grab that, thank you. I don't really need it. But here, I'll use Rush Coil. Just once. Great job, Rush. Ew, no. Um, I don't think I can carry more than four E-Tanks. So, I'm just gonna leave that behind. I probably should take that energy, but whatever. Uh, let's put it in Wood Shield. I haven't used that for anything yet. Might need it. I'm gonna die here. That was actually pretty easy. Okay. Um, hard knuckle is top man's weakness. But he can't be hurt when he's spinning. Plus, he's a tough boy. But not that tough. You got top spin. The most useless move ever! Except for maybe Charge Kick. So this is gonna be Shadow Man. Oh, nope, Needle Man. Okay. Never mind. I thought we were gonna get Shadow Man because Shadow Man is weak to topspin. Needle Man, not so much. I can't even think. Uh, what is Needle Man weak to? Gemini Laser? Yeah, that sounds right. But there's no Gemini laser in this game. What do I do? And Needle Man's actually like a slightly difficult boss, so it'd be nice to have his weakness. Unless they changed it. Which I could see happening. Like, well, we didn't put the right weapon in this game, so we'll make it another one. That's, like, what I would hope for. That's, like, thoughtful design, rather than just copy-pasting as is. Oh, look at that. Uh, I pressed left. That's not where the other powers were. They were on the right.
Why did I come this way? It's so much longer. It's not as if I have all the time in the world. Actually, I do. I'm on vacation this week. Which is not... I understand all the time in the world. But it's a lot. More than I usually have. <gasps> and a free guy. I have so many lives. Let's, um... The problem with having so many lives is that I won't be able to abuse a game over to uh, refill all my weapon energy. But that's fine. Probably won't need to. That would have hurt. Also, I would have looked real stupid. Beep, boop. Okay, what do I want to fill? Let's... let's go with Hard Knuckle. Because it's the funniest weapon. Oh no! I don't know what this one's called, but it is this game's version of Big Eye. And you know how much I hate Big Eye. So, what was the last thing I did? Top Man? Yeah. Let's see if Top Spin works here. Oh, it does! <laughs> like a hot knife through butter. Damn. Pretty happy about that. You got Needle Cannon. And a hole in the floor. And I don't remember what this guy's name is. But he's one of the Mega Man killers. He's like the anchor of this game. Punk? Is this one Punk? No. Punk has like the saw blade. This guy is just totally forgettable, so. I mean, look at this. This is, this is such a boring fight. And now I get his pogo stick. Wahoo! <laughs> you- oh, Quint! Right. Sakugarne. Pogo stick. Is... I was gonna ask if Wily was going to space again, but I knew he was. I remember the end of this one. Mega Man rides on Rush Jet. And I think just rides through space forever. When it says, thank you for playing. We'll see. Oh no, we've fallen into the that one dolly painting. This is the final stage, though. Ooh, gross. I've got to do Yoku blocks. Life sucks. Hopefully there aren't too many of them. And what is this? Right up my butt. Yeah, down the hole you go. Oh my god, this is like how I would design a Mario Maker stage. It's not good. Actually, I think I've made a pretty, uh, a couple, not a few, but I think I made at least a couple, at least a couple pretty good Mario Maker stages. Like, nothing super exciting, uh, nothing super difficult, but, like, fun to play. I got some, some good comments back on Miiverse back in the day. And I barely played Mario Maker 2, uh, at least the building mode. 
I think I made, like, one and a half stages in that game. Which is too bad, but... It just, you know, it didn't take. Um, it turns out the Wii U gamepad was the secret sauce for Mario Maker. At least for me. I understand that other people still have plenty of fun with Mario Maker 2, it just didn't... It didn't land. For me. I should give it another try at some point. At least playing other stages. Because I, I think I kind of retired it even before even any of the, uh, like, additional items were, were patched in. So there's probably a lot of newish content there for me to, to play, experience, have fun with. Should probably do videos on, because that's the kind of thing people would actually watch. They're all like, we don't care about Mega Man 2, crappy old Game Boy game. Blah, we want to see something funny. Like you sucking at Mario Maker, super hard stages. But that's no fun for me. Why would I do that? Uh... Magnet. This is not working in any way. I just wasted all my magnets, but that's fine. Let's go, Sakugarne! Oh, we can't. Well, damn it. Final boss, let's go! Uh, the Wily Walker. This is probably the easiest Wily ever, I think? Maybe not. Once I, once I figure out what the pattern is, it'll be... It'll be okay. Okay, the bouncing bombs, definitely more than my brain can handle. <laughs> I, I, look how tiny Wily is in this stupid machine. Like, I don't know who was in charge of this sprite, but I think they kind of dropped the ball. It's not that it's a bad sprite, it's just weird because now Wily is a teeny tiny little man. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna win this time. Oh. I forgot he had a tank phase. Still, I'll be fine. Look at this. Look at this! Oh, there's a third one! It's still not going to be very hard. Now he's a dinosaur with an arm cannon. Kind of looks like a boss out of Bonk, actually. Not anyone specific, just like that's kind of the aesthetic that I'm seeing. And there we go. First phase was a little bit tricky, but after that, no effort required. Blech. Oh my god, you killed him. Like, Wily's dead. He's straight up dead. And now we get to watch Havsubi. Get to watch the enemy parade. Great time for all. Chibi. Oh, cute.
one on. Hammer Joe. That one I knew. Kakatikaka Monking. Metal. Koma Saburo. See, a lot of these enemies have Japanese names, which doesn't make it easy to remember. Mecha Kiro. See, I see that more as like a bug than a frog, though. Magfly. G Springer. Jerry? P Peter Chi. New Shotman! Oh, why wasn't he on Robot Master? Yambo. That kind of makes sense. Hari Harry? Isn't, isn't like Yamark, something like that, Dragonfly in Japanese? Kudai? So Yambo would be Yamark Bot? Eh? Eh? Telly? Oh yeah, they're called Telly. I knew that. PP? YouTube's gonna censor me, there's too much PP in this game. Shotman. Oh, there's Shotman. New Shotman. I get it. Lie Boy. Springer. He's not old enough for a first name. Piero Bot. Mole. Oh, oh, I'm ready for a nap. Robert. Cook. Well, that doesn't help tell me what kind of bird it's supposed to be. Baton. We know Baton. Pootie Goblin. Worm, or squirm, I guess. Matasaburo. Hmm. Kaminari Goro. That's what it's called. Crash Man. Sorry, Clash Man. Or Clashman, because it's one word. Metalman. Roderick J. Metalman, Esquire, Woodman, Airman, Magnetman, oh no, Hardman, Chris Hardman, that's Philium Topman. Joe Magnetman. Joe is a very common name in this universe. And Barry Needleman. What a crew. There's Quint. Mr. I can't remember what you're called. Is that it? Is it not going to say, like, the end or something? Oh, there we go. It was just... It was super delayed. Presented by Capcom. We did it again. Yet another Megaman. Ooh, what time is it? Hmm. Way past nap time.
I kind of wanted to play Mega Man 3 today as well, but I don't have time. I have to go out soon. Even though I'm pretty sure I said all I have all the time in the world. Just like 10 minutes ago. It's actually not true. I- oh! Don't look at the other games I have. Don't look at them. Uh, yeah, but it, it, I guess it doesn't matter to you. So I'm just going to close this off and say thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye!